Gale force winds have stopped all world championship sailboat racing off the coast of Clearwater today. This comes after several boats capsized south of Pier 60. News Channel 8's Peter Bernard is live on Sand Key tonight to tell us about that. Peter. Good evening, Keith. All boats are back in shore tonight at the Clearwater Sailing Center here. You can see some of the people behind me. After some uh, scary moments this afternoon, we were there as Coast Guard crews scrambled to find people hurled into the choppy water. As the winds picked up, sailboat masts went down, splintered in two by gusty breezes. Just before two, word went out to bring everyone ashore. The northwest winds were just too much for these little skiffs and catamarans to handle. Several capsized south of Pier 60, prompting a water rescue by the U.S. Coast Guard. We spotted this boat capsized off Sand Key Park, and later, as it was towed in with the mast broken in two. Despite the race suspension and damaged craft, these sailors enjoy the challenge. Well, I prefer it to be as windy and wavy as possible because that's the most difficult condition and that's the one we feel the most comfortable in. Stammer and his teammate skipper a 49er boat, which is known for its instability and danger. He's dislocated his shoulder twice in four years. The boat we sail is one of the most challenging in the Olympic Games, yeah. and it's really important that you kind of like learn to sail in the extremes, the very light and the very windy. They got their wish today with white caps, heavy swells, and strong winds. The sailors think of wind like gas for a car's engine. I mean, they're a lot of fun. It's a lot of horsepower, and um, they're just, it's like riding on, uh, riding on a bull, you know, just trying to hang on, and... Uh, harnessing the power of the wind. It's a balancing act that could propel them to the summer games in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Days like today separate the amateurs from the professionals. So basically we've got these trapeze wires and we clip in and we're way out here and uh, we got foot straps for the downwind and uh, yeah, it's like I said, it's a nice big surfboard and um, souped up sailboat. The top wind speed for these little boats, 25 miles an hour gusts today were above that. So for safety reasons, race organizers decided to call off racing for the day. Keith? Why, Peter, just looking at the waves out there, th those are massive waves. Uh, and, and then the water temperature is also still cool this time of year. What, what is it down there? How do they stay warm? It's 57 degrees, Keith. Way too cold yeah. for me. I like it to be around 80. What they do is they wear a wetsuit, and that keeps them warm. Otherwise, they would freeze. That's above. That's below the air temperature. So 57 degrees if they went in without that wetsuit, it would be a, quite a thrilling experience. Wow. They're looking for adventure. They found it, and then some today, for sure. Peter Bernard, live on Sand Key. Thank you, Peter.